What's going on, y'all? So, y'all know I was out here crack feeding and stuff, so I had to get this running. So, I did add some temporary lights to it. I'm not sure if I'm going to put them on the hood or actually put them on the front of it. And then, um, I also put lights in the back as well. You guys see there. But, there's one thing on here that I noticed after I put the batteries in it and everything and I got it running. This has a gyro in it. Um, pick this up and can't see it too much there. But it does have a gyro in it, um, and that's pretty cool because that'll help with st the stability of the car. This being two-wheel drive on it, so uh, I already know off bat. I'm probably going to get a faster servo, possibly. But I am running my uh, SMC battery. Get that bag. Get that bag out of here. In here. Yeah, this does sound good, too. Try not to hit it too hard on concrete. Now, I did find parts for this on eBay. Um, I can't remember right offhand the name of the store, but there was a store on there that did stock a lot of the parts for this, just about every part, so... Um, that is a good thing. So I went ahead and, you know, I got a couple extra pieces for it. I'll get some more coming as well. But I can say for me, this is my first six scale <laughs> buggy. <laughs> Especially two wheel drive buggy. I mean, it's a buggy buggy. So. This does sound good, though. I think the servo, I just, from driving, I think I need to put a faster servo in here, but we'll see. I'll probably have to get used to it. I am used to, um, I drove my A-scale buggy earlier, so you know those got pretty fast, high-grade servos in that I actually put in there, so I may put one of those in there, but I may leave this as this is. This is going good, guys. I'm liking this. Ooh. Going all the way down there. <laughs> Don't need to go that far. And for me, things I just like is I love radios that use four batteries, which 99% of them do. And I think even Red Cat stepped their game up with some of their older radios. They're using uh, four batteries to the eight. But this uses three. So... Yeah, this is going to run good off-road. The one thing is going to get a lot of stuff inside of it, possibly, but I have to get a uh, can of compressed air and keep that with me <laughs> and spray this off. Hit something down there. Get out. Get out of my way. I know I said I was only going to do a test run, but I'm enjoying running this. I really am. <laughs> Try to do too many hard stops and turns and spin outs. I think one thing that's helping with the performance of this is one that is mid-engine. I think I probably didn't mention that too much in the unboxing. I just hit whatever it is down there again. And two, the weight of it. I mean, it's got that aluminum chassis and stuff in it, so that's helping with the weight of it as well. I mean, I've seen, like I said, videos of it running. Um, I know Joe over at OMGRC runs his... He's been running a lot the last couple of weeks. Um, and he did put some different tires and wheels on there. He didn't use the stock ones, so he's really been running on road a lot, which is good. 
and I figured it would handle good because of that but other than possibly needing like I said a faster servo I have to test it off-road and see it's good out the box so far suspension setups good and everything but of course this is all on road running so Fill out too much like that. Y'all probably can't see it that well, but it does have a nice little lean to it. <laughs> Alright guys, that is a quick run of this. Um, well, six minutes, that's not too quick, huh? <laughs> so I'm enjoying this. I'm gonna, uh, let's see how much these tires wore down out here. Oh, they, didn't too, they didn't do too bad, but they didn't run it that hard and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna run this a little bit more and enjoy this until these packs run. Well, these packs are probably gonna last me a good 30, 40 minutes out here. So I'll put a link in the description below to the batteries that I'm using and then also where I got this from as well. So. Um, so far, so good. Um, these particular lights, these are the ones I got off of Amazon, and then NZ Hobby sells some as well. Um, the difference between the lights is the ones NZ Hobby sells are a little bit shorter than these particular ones, but the ones from NZ Hobbies are $3, and the ones from Amazon are $7, so you're just paying for the extra link. So, but I'll try to remember to put, um, links in uh, the description as well to both of the light sets that I'm using. You guys see, I've just have a battery there and I just soldered a connector and stuff onto the wires for that so that's kind of how I got this rolling but anyway guys put your comments down below don't forget to like subscribe and stay tuned for more videos thanks for watching